Financial advisor Scott Beasley knows time spent with family is everything. His mission is to give clients the freedom to enjoy time with family without the burden of financial concerns. Offering a free initial consultation, Beasley Wealth Management helps clients pursue their aspirations with confidence. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather today. Hey folks, good Wednesday morning to you. Thank you so much for stopping by Tennessee Valley Weather. I'm Ben Luna here in the Weather Center with your weather today, made possible by our friends down at Beasley Wealth Management in downtown Lawrenceburg. Okay, raincoats, umbrellas, and small boats all needed across the region today as we're contending with one, a flash flood watch, and two, a lot of rain on top of already very, very saturated ground from our wintry weather episode last week. All that water has had to go somewhere. A lot of it went down into the ground, so it's super saturated. And then we also have runoff issues into areas, creeks, and, and rivers. We're gonna add a lot more rain to that situation as we head through the course of today, all the way into Saturday. So we've got several inches of rain to talk about here over the course of the next few minutes. Warmer air and our next cool down. All of that and more right here in this weather update. So with that said, let's hop right into it. Here is satellite and radar together over the past 24 and our big old wet storm system that's diving into our region today. Right here is seen working into the Memphis area that is now finding its way into our area and will continue to do so through the course of this morning, starting as a few spotty areas of rainfall across the Tennessee Valley and then quickly compounding into a lot of rain really quick by the midday. In fact, some folks across our viewing area, yeah, we're going to see some lightning and hear some thunder in the mix of this. This is not wind driven severe weather, but it is water driven severe weather. It is going to be a very, very wet episode for us all the way through Saturday, resulting in possibly two Maybe even some parts of the area seeing a little bit more than that in terms of inches of rainfall across our viewing area. Now, at times, some of this moisture will fall on the heavier side, uh, and then at times, it's going to be very light precip. It's going to be kind of off again, on again. By 6 o'clock this evening, the bulk of that moisture is now east of I-65, but here comes another round. As we look ahead to the early morning hours of Thursday, more areas of rainfall will be likely across our viewing area, and at times some of that rain will be heavy, adding into that old rain bucket that's already going to be overflowing, unfortunately. Now, as we get past this one storm system into Thursday, we'll have a brief break, and then Friday into Saturday, here comes our next weather maker. This is going to be more rain to pile into the bucket as we head Friday night into Saturday. And again, some more locally heavy rainfall is possible from that first of the weekend system. So how much rain are we talking about? Well, from round one, which is today through tomorrow, we're looking at about two and a half inches across parts of southern Tennessee, almost three inches in parts of northwest Alabama. Now, those numbers not gospel truth, just a good idea. Depending on exact where you are watching us, you might see a little more, a little less. That happens and as we work with computer models and how things play out over uh, time with the track of the storm system and the heavier parts of the storm system dropping rainfall. Now, we're going to add to this more so, unfortunately, for round two. Round two is going to be Friday into Saturday, and you can see those numbers bounce up to close to three inches in parts of uh, southern Tennessee and then just over the three inch mark in parts of northwest Alabama. Some parts of northwest Alabama down toward the Russellville area over toward Moulton and south toward Hamilton could be nudging upward to maybe closer to four inches of rain. Over the past few days, model runs have consistently tried to move that heavier rain amount south. That's still trending likely, but again, some of those heavier amounts while still south, two and a half to almost three inches of rain in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Not a good thing. Same said for Murray County, Wayne County, Giles County, very flood prone areas across our viewing area, unfortunately. Here's your day builder forecast. It's gonna be wet and 60 pretty much all day long. And here's a look at the next seven days, fresh from the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel. Notice again, we are on semi-red alert mode for today and tomorrow due to the rain-driven severe weather potential. That is not a wind severe potential, but hey, flooding is definitely something that we take very serious here and want you to take serious as well. So that's why we have highlighted those weather alert panels for you today and tomorrow. A few showers again in between 
some periods of dry weather on Friday, and then here comes the other round of rainfall as we head Friday night into Saturday. The good news, we are dry as we look ahead to next week with our temperatures a little bit more where they should be for this time of year. Highs in the 40s, lows in the 30s. That's a check on your forecast from the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel. Stay with us today. We'll be watching the weather for you. Kelly's here at noon, and then Fred Gossage live at 5. Until then, I'll leave you with a final look at the forecast. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you have a blessed Wednesday. And we'll talk to you soon.